I just made over 3.5 million credits in one pop, and I'm right at the start of the game. How did I do it? Okay, before we start, I just want to let you guys know I'm running a competition to win a copy of Fallout 76 or a game of equal value. All you need to do to enter is follow the link in the description and, well, good luck. So, No Man's Sky Next is a great little update, making the game much more, well, uh, playable than it was a few years ago. With the update comes multiplayer and also the need to have a far better ship than your pesky friends, so how do you do this early on? The first step is to follow the storyline a short while until you have need of finding antimatter. This won't take long, only about an hour or so depending on how you play. The mission to find antimatter will have you, at least for now, heading to a structure that looks exactly like this. Around the structure will be these alien eggs. This is the money people. One core within the egg is worth 95,000 credits and each core stacks five times. So make sure you have some space in your inventory. There are 40 or so eggs around, so you do the math, but as soon as you break one open to steal the lava tool core within, you'll be attacked by a swarm of biological horrors. What you need to do is, well, be prepared. While the swarm is dormant, you need to get a few eggs damaged enough that they're almost broken, then destroy two in a row. Hold E and pick them up. I can't stress this, even if you aren't highlighted over the egg, hold E anyway and it will start picking up as soon as you get in range of it. For console users, hold the key prompted, I don't know what it is for you guys. But anyway, once you have picked up both lava tool cores, use your jetpack and fly onto the high ground Anakin. Right onto that high ground. The horrors can't climb for whatever reason, so you'll be safe. Now you need to be patient and wait for the swarm to subside. You'll be told when this happens with a prompt on the screen. It takes quite a few minutes though, so what I do, because I'm impatient, is break an egg from the high ground and swoop down, grab an egg before I take too much damage and fly back up. You'll eventually get really good at this. At any point, if you're fearing your life, beeline back to your ship. Get in your ship and you'll be safe from anything attacking you. Get out, and that will make a save point, which will be able to be reloaded if things go wrong. You can kill the horrors fairly easily, but they instantly respawn a new one coming out of the ground, so there's almost no reason to do so. So collect the cores until you've gotten all you can carry and head to the nearest trading post or space station. Sell these beauties for a shit ton of money. I, I guess the biological horrors are in demand in the intergalactic black market. It's, it's not your place to judge, but just take the money and go shop for ships. Any ship that arrives at that space station or trading post, you can go up to and talk to the alien within. Negotiate the price, transport your items across to the new ship, buy it, and enjoy. New ships start from 1 million credits, so you should be able to buy a new one within 20 minutes of doing this method, which is really quickly. So congratulations on your new ship. Now, one of the aforementioned stations will be on, at least from what I can see, every planet and will always look the same. If you don't run into one, keep looking around. You can use the scanner to mark points of interest to make it easier, but you can work out those complications for yourself. When you find the building, be sure to place a custom marker there so you can always return, because if you just tag it, sometimes that disappears, or you can build your base close to it, which is my recommendation. The eggs will respawn after a reload and a set amount of time, so farm away and enjoy being an intergalactic king. Some tips, make sure you have enough oxygen and carbon on you for when you farm to recharge your suit and mining beam, and if you're on a hazardous environmental planet, bring enough sodium. Other than that, nothing else is needed. Also, be sure to check inside the building as well. There's usually some nanites and other goodies. And so let me know what you think of the game so far in the comments. And don't forget to follow the link below to win yourself a copy of Fallout 76. If you want to join the conversation with like-minded individuals, I have a Discord that's open to all video game enthusiasts and I hope to see you there. Hopefully, this video has been helpful.